Hi, this is Geeta from Nosh Detox. I wanted to speak to you today about a process called symptom profiling that we use and invented at Nosh to help us to clearly understand how we can help you better. Symptom profiling is unique because we're the only people that use it and what it's done for us is it's enabled us to just work with your wellness to help you to create wellness as opposed to treating illness, which tends to be that we need to fix a problem. What we try and do is work out what's missing and then make sure that you get more of that so that it's working again. Using this sort of techniques, we've helped um, a man who's 53 years old, who was on blood pressure tablets for 27 years. We use symptom profiling to identify the seven or eight supplements and food groups and nutrients that were missing from his system. On a six week course of our recommendations, he gave up using his blood pressure tablets after 27 years. That's just a miraculous thing. That's a wonderful thing. And it makes us really happy that we can do that. We also had another client, Liz, who had really severe problems with chronic fatigue to the extent that at, at a very early age, she was walking around with a walking stick and she had a shawl. I was horrified the first time I met her because she looked like a very young woman, but behaved and walked like a very old woman. And it took us about four weeks with Liz, where we sat down with her, we symptom profiled her, we thought, right, this is what's missing from your diet, this is what's missing from your life. We introduced her to supplements, nutrients, we introduced her to a couple of meditative techniques, a way to manage her stress, and just those few simple tweaks meant that within four weeks, Liz was able to go on a long distance business trip, something she hadn't managed for seven years and it took us four weeks. So you can see that the process in itself is actually very, very effective. It's very effective to look at what you need more of as opposed to fixing something that's wrong because it's a different approach. It's an alternative way of looking at well-being, and it really, really works. So I wanna take you through a few of the ideas behind symptom profiling and to show you the kind of questions that we ask so that you can apply it for yourself and if you have any difficulties with it you can we will help you to apply those questions to your life we'd usually generally start with lifestyle profiling so we gain an overview of your lifestyle we get an idea of what are the triggers in your life that cause problems we ask you questions about your diet your exercise do you smoke how often do you eat out because so many of us actually don't even cook nowadays where do you tend to eat? What kind of food do you tend to eat? And actually, when do you eat? We, a lot of people work really, really long hours, so when do you manage to eat? And when you're grabbing something at the last minute, what is it that you grab? So we get a very clear picture of what your food patterns are within lifestyle as well. We get a picture of your sleep patterns. Sleep is immensely important in relation to your immune system. So we look at your sleep patterns and we say, how do you sleep? Do you sleep well? Do you wake up at night? Do you not wake up at night? Do you wake up feeling refreshed? Do you wake up feeling tired? Those things are really relevant for basically how you're ever going to feel for the rest of your life. Then we ask you about your stress profiling. Generally speaking, how much stress would you say you were under at any given time in the day? The interesting thing about this question is many people don't even realize the stress levels they live under every day because they're so used to it. And women are the biggest culprits because we just think, well, you know, I have to do it, so I may as well get on with it. We don't look at it. And we don't think we can do anything about it because it's just our life, isn't it? And we've all got to get on with it. And we use that very stiff upper lip approach to getting on with things and we look after everyone but ourselves. So with our stress profile, we'll take you through a process of allocating a number, say, one is the least stressful and five is the most stressful and we'll take you through your day as a process and say okay you've just got up how do you feel on a one to five do you feel stressed not stressed how do you feel then we'll take you out the door and how do you feel when you hit work how do you feel at lunchtime how do you feel post lunchtime and how do you feel on your way home it's a very accurate way of finding out the levels of stress you live under every day until you can clearly see that it's impossible for us to help you to fix it. Try the exercise yourself. It's actually incredibly illuminating. Just approach it by saying, if I had to allocate a stress level to any part of my life, then I would say one was unstressful, two was 
mm, a little stressful. Three, I'm beginning to get really quite uptight. Four, I'm going to smack someone. And five, oh my God, what am I going to do? So allocate those and pick five spots across your day. When you wake up, when you head to the office, lunchtime, just as you're leaving, and when you go to bed at night. Do it as a little exercise for yourself. Tell me what the results are. I'd be fascinated to hear from you because it is, I do it for myself regularly and I find myself catching myself thinking, oh, I have help. I'm really stressed. I haven't noticed. I've got to find a way to support my body through this process. Another profile that we do is to actually ask ourselves how our internal systems are running, which means how often do you actually go to the toilet? Is there run, do you strain when you actually eliminate? Do you find that you're actually going to the loo every day? These things are really uncomfortable in general society for us to talk about, but you need to have these conversations because until you know how your body is eliminating toxins from your skin, from your nose, from your bowels and your urinary tract, you can't actually work out how healthy you're going to be. In honestly, up to about 60% of the cases that we see, if we just provided them with a way for them to have regular bowel movements, we would change their illness profile and we would really completely alter their wellness profile as well. We would make them better so quickly. It's vitally important for you to understand that elimination is practically the most important thing in your life. The next step that we would look at is actually what are your support systems? How are you supported? Who looks after you? Who cares how you're feeling? When you're tired and busy and you've looked after everyone else, how do you get the nurturing that you need? Who's around to help you with it? Who do you speak to? What do you have as a, in place as systems to support yourself? And frequently, even we either have systems in place that we don't take advantage of, or we used to have systems in place and we just lost them along the way because we got too busy, or in fact, we don't have any systems and we haven't noticed. And if you don't have a system for support, it's like a pressure cooker, which the lid, you can't take the lid off and let off steam a little at a time. We need communicating, communication with people. We need to talk to people. We need them to understand us. Even when we're simply just whinging, it's really an important part of your everyday health. I hope you found that useful. Symptom profiling is something that has completely changed how I live. It's changed how we, even who work at NOSH, live. It's literally changed the lives of thousands of people that are clients of NOSH. It's a fascinating process to go through. Try it on your own, and if you need help from us, give us a call, and we're happy to walk you through it. So my name's Geeta from NOSH, and thank you for listening to me.